Yo guys, what's good man? It's your boy Uncle J. We're up in another reaction video. We're gonna be reacting to Brio Neuro Next Generations episode 208 titled Momoshiki's Manifestation. So yeah, this episode's gonna be crazy because we know Momoshiki's taking over Brio's body and I'm expecting him to just annihilate Boro, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just like he's just gonna be badass, bro. So I can't wait for that. But yeah, last episode was freaking insane. I love the whole episode. Uh the fights were dope. Some of the transitions in the fights as well, bro. It was cold, definitely. You know, but of course the highlights of the episode was when like Bureau did that bat flip, then Sarada came in with the Shidori, bro. That was definitely a dope ass moment. Uh I'm happy for Sarada, bro. That was definitely dope as hell. But then in the end of the episode, of course, you know, the craziest moment was when Momo Shiki basically took over Burrow's body, right? And you know, he had the blue aura, he had the karma mark, um, that horn growing on his forehead, bro, it was crazy. But yeah, man, it definitely made me hype for this episode, so I can't wait to get into it. So I hope y'all enjoy. If you do hit the like button, help your boy out, subscribe channel if you wanna see more anime reactions, follow your boy into a link description down below. Check out the Patreon if you wanna see full length reactions. Without further ado, let's get into this episode. Just drop to his neck. Let's go, man. Oh, he's taking chakra from Naruto? Yo. There is a guy. Oh, bro. Damn. Bro. That's a big ass for Senkan. Bro. What? <laughs> hey, he dead, bro. Hey, bro, gone, bro. Yo. Bro. Yo, that was singing different, bro. But, bro, that was crazy. But, but, bro, just gone? Okay, so Momoshiki still ain't got, you know, full control, say. So say if Buru was in control, he would just be able to take, like, chakra from people, bro. That's crazy. Hey, it's always dope seeing um, Hinata, man. And Himawari, too. Are we gonna see some Sasuke? Okay, let's go. Who is the man's voice actor? That sounds real familiar, bro. I feel like I know it, but I don't know the um, voice actor's name. Yo, so is anyone gonna snitch about what happened to Burial, bro? Yeah, Shikamaru always be on like some demon time, bro. I swear. <sighs> oh! Bro, Shikamaru need to chill, bro. <laughs> it's crazy because the a vessel standing right next to it, right? From back then, bro. Oh, so Sarah is good telling Sasuke. Oh, they still they think it's a Byaku gun. Oh. Oh, so basically only Sasuke is gonna know. Or some other entity. Damn. <laughs> hey, let's go. Damn, bro, it's crazy to think that in the future, Quack is gonna have to turn on the whole village, bro. Oh, 
Damn, vibe killer, bro. <laughs> oh, they go. Oh, hey, that's dope, man. They had a bunch of OG characters and stuff on the cards. Okay, it seems like Kawaki's opening up and stuff. That's good, bro. But still, it's crazy to think that he's gonna end up switching on them, right? Now, I told you, Shikamaru be on some demon timing, bro. But I get what he's saying. I ain't gonna cap. Shikamaru don't really play when it comes to the village, bro. Hey, man, I'm so hyped up for the future, bro. A bro. Hey, it's gonna be crazy. Okay, he didn't finish there, but all right. All right, let's check out the preview still. Okay, so what, we're gonna get a couple fillers before we get back to, you know, manga stuff? Okay, so it seems like Kawaki and him will hurry go on some little adventure. But yeah, man, um, cool episode. The start was badass, bro. Momoshiki taking all over Burrow's boy and just whooping Burrow's ass was crazy. That Rasengan was crazy as well. Like, that reminded me of, like, OG Naruto, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, I might have to say that was, that one was probably a bit bigger, bro. But yeah, it was kind of crazy in that mode, the way... I know, like, they can do that, right? But to think about, like, if Buru could control it in the future, right? Can he really just go up to people and just take their chakra, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's going to be OP, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, imagine if he's in a fight, for example, and he just, like, teleports to the person and just puts their puts his hand on their chest or something and just take their chakra, bro. Like, that's going to be crazy, bro. Um, but, yeah, it didn't even... He, he, it didn't seem like he took much from Naruto and he'll still manage to pull off that big-ass Rasengan, bro, so... That was crazy, but yeah, man. Um, I love the episode, the whole past episode for sure. Um, the story is getting interesting as well, and I really can't wait to see the stuff in the future. You know, them growing up, what happens with the commas, and of course the leaf, the shinobi world. Of course, you know what I'm saying. Um, maybe once other villagers find out what's going on and how these commas are gonna be like the next big thing. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be interesting to see how they react because both of them are in the leaf village. You know what I'm saying? And like. Technically, both of them are neural sons now, you know what I'm saying? I know Burrow's like legit neural son, but you know, Quacky's kind of adopted anyway, so both of them are neural sons, so it's gonna be crazy to see what happens. But I enjoyed that episode, man. But here, we're just gonna go back and talk about it, man. But yeah, um, whoo, bro, this was just badass, bro. I, I love the start of the episode, man. The way how Momoshiki was just whooping that guy's ass, and it was crazy because. He was sending Boro flying, he was taking off his arms, bro, and he wasn't using Jutsu, bro. He was just kicking homeboy, and he was still laying it on him, bro. So that was definitely crazy. Then, of course, they had the big ass Rasengan, Mitsuki, Sarada, um, Kawaki, they all witnessed it, you know, seeing like it was like a different type of person, you know what I'm saying? Like someone took over Burro's body. But yeah, um, that was just insane, bro. But of course, there was some interesting line when he was talking about um, how it's not time or yet, something like that. So. Yeah, man, um, whew, it's, 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 I don't know, I get, you know what I'm saying? Probably not fully have, has taken over a brutal body, but I'll say it's started now, you know what I'm saying? So it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the future, as I said, bro. But, you know, they rescued the real, which was dope as hell, you know, brought him back to the Leaf Village. Um, it's crazy to me, you know what I'm saying? Um, it wasn't like any of the OG characters that came and saved him. It was, the, you know, the new Team 7, bro, but they did their thing. You know, they were all in hospital, man, for Wacky and the rest, bro. Um, Shikamaru, like, he really be on demon timing, but I ain't gonna cap. I began what he's saying, you know what I'm saying? Like, he really prioritizes the safety of Naruto and the village above everything else, bro. Like, yeah, it's crazy. Um, but yeah, man, like, he, he kind of need to chill, bro. But, um... You know what I'm saying? They he um Kwaki also told them about some of the members as well. Um uh, of course when it came to Cold it was a bit interesting, you know what I'm saying? Because he doesn't really know anything about Cold. It seems like Cold that 
you know what I'm saying? Like, because you don't know anything about him, you might not think he's going to be the big problem, but, you know, Cole could end up being the biggest, you know what I'm saying? So it's going to be interesting to see what happens with Cole as well. You know what I'm saying? He's got the orange hair, like pain as well. So, you know, it's going to be interesting for sure. Um, but then, um, you know, there were some cool moments, you know, Kwaki and Brio were talking to each other, you know what I'm saying? Kwaki straight up just told Brio what happened. And it was interesting because, like, I don't know, maybe they, maybe Sarada and Kwaki, actually, I don't think they planned it, but Sarada and Mitsuki, they told Sasuke first, right? But Kwaki went to Buru and told him what happened, you know what I'm saying? Like a real one, to be honest, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, Sar Sarada and Mitsuki didn't go to Nuru, um, Buru and actually tell, told him what happened. It was actually Kwaki that did that. So you could see the relationships a bit more like, they keep it on hand with each other, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I mess with it, bro. It was kind of cool. Um, but yeah, we had that go on, bro. And, you know, Jigen's obviously going to be um, a bit more interesting after seeing what Sasuke said as well about him, about him being like a whole different entity and stuff like that. But then we had some cool last moments. It seems like Kawaki's opening up, um, becoming a bit normal, I'll say, as a person. Um, but, yeah, that's definitely cool as hell for sure. Um, but, yeah, that, that was really much about the episode. I don't think I missed anything, man. But, yeah, I enjoyed the hell out of this episode for sure. Um, but yeah, next episode seems like it's just going to be a little more chill episode. So I don't know if I'm going to be reacting to the next few episodes. We'll see, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but of course, when it comes to manga stuff, we're always going to be here for sure. Uh, but yeah, it seems like him and Himawari are going to go on some little adventure, bro. Probably will be a cool last episode, though, for sure. But that's going to be it for me, man. Uh, as I said, man, I really can't wait for the future, bro, man. It's definitely going to be dope as hell. I can't wait for future fights and stuff like that as well. But that's going to be it from your boy, man. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Boys out.